Well, hey there, this is Jerry, and I'm getting started on another episode of What's Broke Today, and today I've got a 1999, it's the OBS uh, Chevrolet with the, um, it's a 3500, it's a one-ton dually crew cab, but we have a brake problem, and now the reason this truck is here is, um, has a problem with the air conditioner. Well, I wanted to take it out for a drive yesterday, put a thermometer in the vent, and see what the temperature did. And the right front brake was locking up. I was It was solid, which right now, I can turn this. No big deal. I lay my wrenches down. Oh, lay them on the ground. I'm gonna go step on the brake pedal. All right, so um, to mimic what I did yesterday, um, I just got inside, started the truck, stepped on the brakes a few times, and now I can just barely turn that. And this actually isn't as bad as it was yesterday. Yesterday I couldn't even turn this at all. Well, my first thing I did was took my 14 millimeter wrench come up here to where the line is attached at the frame and just loosened it up and let some of the brake fluid drip out and tighten this up And then come down here and grab the rotor and see it's still tight. I mean, I can force it and turn it with two hands. Then I take, come to my bleeder screw, loosened it up, and let the pressure off. Like so. And then, I can one hand turn this, you know. It still could use some caliper cleaning, but what was hanging it up, there must be some kind of restriction in the inside of that hose. Because yesterday, I couldn't even, uh, no matter what I did, the only time I could turn this was after I uh, opened the bleeder screw. And I took a uh, pry bar stuck because there's a gap in between the pad and the piston I stuck a small pry bar in there and I couldn't even push the piston back till I opened the bleeder screw so I got I went up and got a new brake hose and we're gonna put that on so to start out I got my uh, my new hose which lay some tools down so I don't drop things and I probably still will. New brake hose, which lay it up there and compare it. That looks right. So I'm gonna take my pliers and actually crimp off this hose. And Get my 13 millimeter socket and my wrench and bring it underneath there. Take that hose off and start the nut so the bolt don't fall out. And then I'll leave back here. Now well, that's probably a 10. Okay, we'll come back here on the back side and get that out of the way. We don't need it right now. And the this one, the bolt 
holding the hose onto the caliper is an 11 millimeter. I'll pull that loose. See where my It looks like my copper washers both should have stuck to this. There's the ends. Yep, they're both there. And of course, brake fluid in the caliper is going to leak out. My new hose comes with new copper washers. So I'm going to put one on the banjo bolt. I'm going to grab my new hose, get the bolt and everything together, and then just reach through here on the back side. And get that started on there. That's all set. And then up here, got to undo that clip. Well, we put that in there. And depending on the clip, how it comes off. Go get a pair of pliers. All right, I'm gonna reach down from the top. See if this is a style that just slides off. I need my glasses. They make too many different kinds of these clips. <laughs> now I can't always remember what's what. But. I just barely get both hands down in there because this one is it's one that we've got to pry out the the bottom to get it to come up off there. All right. that out just a little bit so it clears the end of the hose let's see I got it that far enough See in this way this clip is made, it's like a horseshoe kind of setup, but it's double horseshoe. And this is the side facing that way, and this hole isn't completely round. So when you slide this down over this end, once these little ears pass the round part, it kind of locks itself in. And then now that I got that loose, now we can take our brake line and take it off. And 
And at this point, make sure you got plenty of brake fluid in the master cylinder so you don't run it dry while you're taking this apart. It's tight. But then we can take that loose and take off my vice grips and throw it down in there. And then we can bring this up here. Get that started. Okay. Once we get that set, I can take my clip. Slide it down over and, and if you got brake fluid on your hands, don't touch anything on the outside of the truck. Push that down and lock it. Then we'll do one last check and make sure that's tight. Now I'll trade out sockets and wrenches. And we'll come back here and put our brake hose on, our ABS sensor, start the nut, When I get that tight, then and you don't want to hit your GoPro, but then wash that all off with brake clean, like so. And then we'll go check our brake master cylinder and top it off. Now I'm just going to take my drain pan and move over to here. Move the camera over here. And we'll take our 10 millimeter and loosen that up and let all the pressure out. When I took the hose off, it let almost all the fluid that's in that caliper, just about all of it ran out, so. I just let that gravity bleed while I watch till I get solid fluid, or fluid only. It's just slow getting Right out of there. But it's the weight of the fluid in the master cylinder is just basically pushing it down. And then it, as it gets down, it fills up the bottom of the caliper and then uh, purges the air out the top, out the bleeder hole. Okay, and then now I've got to, which I probably took 10 minutes. I got a steady stream of fluid coming out the bleeder screw, so I'm just gonna snug it up like that. Then I'm gonna go get my pry bar. Oop, kick the can. And I'm gonna put my pry bar in between the seat and the brake pedal. and then take the electric seat and run it forward. <laughs> Apply pressure to the, and push the pedal down. And then come back here and turn that 
around so at least you might be able to see. And just loosen that. And I don't see no bubbles. So we are probably good. Then all I, all I need to do now is spray a little brake clean on there to clean things up. Put the wheel back on and uh, let's do another test drive. Okay, we're in the truck. We'll start it up. We have a good feeling brake pedal. Now see what was happening yesterday. See I'm rolling forward and the steering wheels is staying straight. Now there's backwards so but what it, it just wasn't releasing so Now I can get my stuff set up. And the truck's been setting so the brakes are a little bit grabby. I think I'll get things ready and uh I'm going to get my temperature gauge set up and uh, take this for a drive and we'll check the AC too. Well, I got back from my test drive. Um, brake is releasing and functioning properly now that just goes to show you just, you have problems with things. You know, first thing I was thinking was a locked up caliper, but uh, I always do that check because I replaced the caliper and then had to go back and replace a brake hose later. So, so I always get it in a locked up condition, loosen the line on the truck side of the brake hose and see if it releases a wheel. And if it doesn't, then I loosen the bleeder screw and if that releases it, then you know that it's a brake hose. If you, um, do both and it doesn't release then we need to start looking at the caliper because um, if you know if you let the brake fluid pressure off and the caliper still stuck it's probably the piston and in rare cases I have seen where it's actually the master cylinder but that will lock up more than one wheel so if you got both front wheels locked up I'd be looking at the brake master cylinder first thing so but hey, I appreciate you watching. We always like those thumbs up for the likes. Uh, appreciate all those comments. And uh, happy to have all you subscribers that watch my channel. And uh, would love to have a bunch more. I'm over 600 now. Let's shoot for over 1,000. So uh, if you're not a subscriber, better join on in. Because no telling what you'll see on what's broke today. Thank you.